What is the skeletal system and how is it organized? Well, let's first examine the two major divisions of the skeletal system and then begin to understand its four major functions. First, the skeletal system in adult is made up of 206 bones around there. These bones can be divided into two major camps, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton is made up of the bones along the central axis of the body. Think of the earth spinning along its axis. The body also has an axis. The axial skeleton includes the skull or the cranium, the ribs, the sternum, and the vertebral column, as you can see here. Next, the appendicular skeleton includes basically everything we have not yet identified in the axial skeleton, including bones of the hands and feet, arms, legs, and shoulders, and hips. You might want to pause the video to examine the medical terms for each of the bones in the body, and you may wish at minimum to know those listed on this diagram. So what's the purpose of this system of bones? Well, there are four major functions of the skeletal system. For one, the skeletal system provides support and shape for the body. Without bones, we would be simply a pile of organs and tissue, unable to function or communicate. Next, protection. The cranium and sternum, in addition to the ribs and the vertebral column, are critical to protecting vital organs in the body, respectively protecting the brain, the lungs, the heart, and the spinal cord. Another key function is movement. These runners would be unable to jump so gracefully over these hurdles if it weren't for the close coordination between skeletal and the muscular system. And fourth but last but not least, um, these bones actually surprising to some make blood. Inside these dense structures are shoots of marrow where stem cells, or unspecialized cells, become specialized into different types of blood, of blood cells or, or even other cells when it travels around the body. Um, inside the dense uh, portion of bone, there's a cavity that contains marrow, which can turn cells or unspecialized cells into white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets, and so on. So to recap, the skeletal system is made of the axial and appendicular skeleton, consists of 206 bones, um, and they help with the support, shape, protection, movement, and to make blood. Check out our other videos investigating the structure of bone and how new bone develops and how bones are held together by joints.